What is up guys, Shadem here, presenting you another S Plus performance on Udyr. Now, this game has just ended. Um, as you can see from the scores, it was a 37 minute game, so nearly 40. I died a total of 5 times and I had uh, 17 plus 6, so 23 um, <clears throat> kill participations which is more than 50%. Uh, another important thing to note, this was the damage. Uh, total damage to objectives, total damage to turrets, 19,000. You will see why. But, I mean, it's no surprise if you, if you know anything about me, or you know anything about Udyr or Udyr players, you are not surprised about this. 10 times more than, uh, like 10 times, actually 10 times more than Wukong, for example. And about 5 times more uh, than Volibear. So, oh yeah, another important thing that I... Uh, I wanted to see, where is it? Where the hell is it? Wards destroyed, income, damage taken and healed, damage dealt. Towers destroyed, there we go, six towers destroyed, two inhibitors destroyed. And look at these numbers. Zero, Caitlyn two, Volibear one. Freaking huge. Um, let's watch it back. So, let's talk about the... Uh, <clears throat> the, the matchup here. And the whole team comp and everything. Now, I usually don't care about my team. Um, like, I don't care what the team has. I, al I always adapt to the enemy team. Because my team doesn't matter. Like, I'm not gonna try to complete my, my team comp. Because if they, if they fail, I become useless. <clears throat> so, uh, these three deal heavy AP damage. Volibear is mostly AP. If you play against him, you will see. Um, so, and considering that the AD carry is the only AD champion, I am rarely gonna see the AD carry. And it just crashed. So we will be back in a moment. So I will rarely see, I will rarely meet the AD carry in a, in a normal scenario. So, I can get away with stacking Magic Resist early. Now, I didn't really stack Magic Resist. Um, it was mostly just a Mercury's. But... But I had a really easy time building against them. <clears throat> Considering that I got really ahead. Uh, because this, this Volibear played like an ape shit. Uh, this might not actually work. Oh yeah, it crashed. Oh no, it, it didn't crash. It, it, it's loading. I love how I can see, like, I'm watching the game on one screen, and OBS is on the other screen. And on OBS, the game already loaded, but on my screen, I still see the loading screen. It's amazing. The computers work in mysterious ways. Uh, okay. <clears throat> So, team frames. Do I want these over here? Nah, I don't know. So, as I was talking about the uh, the matchup, early Mercury's, like uh, the, the, I I cannot survive this lane. I cannot survive the first fifteen minutes. I cannot survive the grub skirmishes without Mercury's. I mean, it's 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 Zerath mid. He has a stun. Uh, Evelyn has a charm. Volibear has a stun. He has a slow. They all have slow. So, 
Mercury's is just huge value here. Now, I actually don't remember uh, what really happened early game. I know that... I mean, it was kind of weird. So, okay, here we both go for the wave. Uh, I missed one CS in the first... Uh, in the first wave, he got all of them. So... But, I mean, these don't really matter. I got hit here, it really sucks. I was rushing for level 2 so that I can pull my W. But he got me first. Um, and it's a sticky situation. I got it, and I got W. And that's lucky. That's just lucky. Some free life still. And boom. So I decide to stay. Because uh, I didn't want to burn teleport so early. Uh, get some heal back. You know, I'm about to level up anyways. Oh, and, and, and here, that's just disgusting. That was the minion block. Like, look at that. Like, I know what he wants to do. But the minion block... Just couldn't, like... It didn't let me uh, get out of the uh, E in time. Whatever. He gets an early kill, sucks. Whatever. I, I TP back in time to get the cannon, so... I didn't lose too much, and then I get somewhat of a uh, of a freeze here. It's not too bad. I mean, he's here. He's still playing very stinky. Um, okay, it's really loud. I don't know if, 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 if it overwhelms my voice. It definitely overwhelms my voice inside of my head. Um, but yeah. So here, we get a kill on him. Uh, really good. Uh, this Wukong was actually MVP, he got my honor. Uh, I get to push here. Uh, and the free back. I think... I actually don't remember... Okay, wait. Oh, he did TP. He TP'd after killing me. So he TP'd after killing me. So now, now he didn't have TP, so he lost... A lot. Actually, I didn't see how much did he lose, but uh, it doesn't even matter. He's still ahead in CS, because I did die in a, a worse spot. And I'm missing a lot, because, uh, you know, he, he can, he can uh, zone me out better. Because he has that disgusting combo, uh, and you just can't risk going in there. I don't know why I'm watching it slow motion. The point is, you know, it's just farming, farming, farming. Uh, he's tanking tower shots. Like, look at this dummy. I think he takes another one. Yeah. Uh, and I think... I think I go on him. Oh, yeah. Here, it's gonna be funny. So, he got six. I got six. Like, me getting six is not a big deal. He gets another tower shot. I cancel an auto attack. Really bad. And here... It, like, look... He's probably mad. He didn't say anything about it, but he must be mad. Like, the tower targeted him and shot him before he landed. So even though he shot off the tower, he still got hit. So that's really tilting. I would be tilted. I would definitely be tilted. So it wasn't too bad, actually. Uh, we are both 2 and 2. Uh... They are doing grubs here, we couldn't really do anything, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna shove the wave. Uh, what sucks is that I'm currently chat restricted, so I couldn't tell Wukong to just let it go, sorry, I can't help, whatever. Yeah, so, Volibear comes, and then Evelyn is here. Okay, so she does a useless charm, uh, Volibear already used Q, and that, and that was just so stupid from him, like, look. So... Evelyn is coming. He knows Evelyn is coming, but he already burned his Q running back to the lane. So I don't know if he just wanted to catch up to the wave, you know, preventing it from crashing into the tower, or he actually wanted to get on me. But from the looks of it, he wanted to catch, uh, catch the wave, but then he runs at me. Okay, but if you run at me, you run past the wave. It's obvious Evelyn is here. But if Evelyn is here, then why didn't you just wait and bait? Evelyn gets ahead of me easily. And she does. But now, Volibear doesn't have Q. He doesn't have R. 
so boom, that's useless. I fuck her up a little, I get her a sampling. Um, Volibear burns Ghost and Q. <laughs> he must be mad, he must be really mad. I'm fast, and I don't even have boots. And then look at this. So she comes back, boom, there is the stun, and then just double shot. Uh, oh yeah, Evelyn was pinging Volibear. And Volibear was pinging Evelyn. Yeah, and from that point, these guys just uh, became enemies. So we recruited a teammate, and it was Volibear. <laughs> Look at the pings! <laughs> Everybody's pinging Evelyn, even our team. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. But Evelyn was carrying hard, actually, so... They shouldn't be pinging. Um... Yeah, so, about the build, because I got a, a kill right now, um, actually, no, after the second kill, I bought the pickaxe, because after the second kill, I saw that this Volibear plays like a fucking ape. He just fights and fights. So if he's gonna fight, I'm gonna fight. And if we are gonna fight, I'm gonna buy fighter item. And what is a better, what is a better fighter item than uh than blade of the ruined king i mean he's gonna have a lot of hp because all of the volley bears go for that uh run of ages build now so yeah here he didn't have r look at oh he didn't have mana oh yeah he didn't have mana i wasn't even looking at that i was like why isn't he using r but whatever, another bad fight. Um, so... <laughs> he lets me kill the wave. Stun not long enough. Sees my awaken. Sees that he is low on mana, but still like proceeds to use a W to burn that little mana left. Um, so yeah, I get to push for free here. He has TP. Um... But I still get... Uh, do I get two plates here? Oh yeah, I got the plate, and then I'm out. And again, he probably is fucking mad. But... In my opinion, when it comes to Volibear... I mean, he has a gap-closing ability. He has two gap-closing abilities. Uh, basically, if you count Q as gap-closing... I mean, it's more of like a rush or whatever, a sprint. But <laughs> using it like that... Like, what he did, that's like, you, you literally just want the kill to get away. Because, okay, you use Q, he, he already knows he's gonna catch up. Okay, so he drops the E, but he uses ultimate even before the Q. Like, you only do that if you have fucking three items, three AP items, and you're gonna be, and you're, you're, you're an atomic bomb volibear. You only do that if you know you're gonna one-shot them with the E, R, press the attack, and then Q, stun, whatever. That's the, that's the only case scenario you do that. Here, he catches up to me with the Q. We keep fighting, and then once he sees me getting away, now he would use R. Like, if he uses R now, I'm dead. But he already burnt it to jump blindly into the bush. Um, and I'm just out. Ghost is goated. It's ghosted. I I, I, I I run away because I, I don't want to risk Evelyn being here. Uh, I think I have TP. Yep. Uh, TP animation wasn't showing up. It's, it's not showing up in, uh, in the replay. So, some more trading. I actually teleported in low HP. So, I have to be careful. But I know he doesn't have R. Um... I want to get the cannon, but I don't get it. Uh, big wave. But I get to farm for free. Caitlyn pinging Evelyn. Um, yeah, that's funny. Again, again, again. So, I hate that every time you skip, the focus uh, drops off. So, he's on me. And I think I already have Mercuries. Yeah, so that stun doesn't last for shit. 
and, I, and 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 now I see. Okay, Evelyn is on mid, so this is a free fight. Awaken Q, boom. That's like three hundred damage. Another three hundred damage. Conqueror is on, and now just uh, Vukong is here. I mean, he almost killed me. He almost killed me. If Vukong wasn't here, he would have killed me. Um, but yeah, we are doing it. I'm pushing. I don't care about. Uh, he was pinging Zerath, and I'm like, okay, Zerath is not a problem, but Lulu was here, and now Lulu plus Zerath is a problem. I get the plate, though, so no biggies. Um, uh, Volibear pushes Bukong off of the uh, Herald, or the, the Grubs. Kinda sucks. And then top gets taken over, and here we could have gotten a free kill. Uh... If uh, Bard didn't have the reactions of a cow, because look, boom, Evelyn is here, boom, that's a stun, that is a fucking stun. Uh, whatever, I think Evelyn had a bounty, yeah. So, see, like, this is why I wish that I could just finally get to, like, top of diamond or masters or whatever, because in masters, th these kills would not get away. Because everyone would be good. And then that wouldn't happen either. Caitlyn was fat. Caitlyn was definitely a powerhouse. A force to be reckoned with. Um, I clear the wave. They get a plate. Whatever. Uh, nothing much I can do. Uh, I decide to fight for the, uh, the dragon. And then look at this cleanup here. Okay, okay, Volibear. I, okay, Volibear stun. Boom. And, and at the... And the uh, like... <laughs> My reaction times compared to anyone else in Diamond, it's just, like, the difference is huge. As soon as I see... As soon as I see the Bard ultimate being dropped... So, Evelyn is killed. That's really good, because it's Dragon time. Um, Bard is doing disruption. Really good. I eat two spells. Really bad. Um... Volibear jumping, 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 jumping. I have awakened, so I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm currently like calculating possible situations, possible outcomes. And as soon as I see Bard ulting Volibear, boom, the frontliner is non existent now. So at this moment, it's like a uh, Lulu, uh, a 500 HP Lulu, and a Zerath chasing me. I have awakened, I have Ghost, and I just pressed it. And I have Ruined King, and I have Mercury's. So, it's killing time. I don't need... I mean, he wasn't stunning me, but I, I'm using the uh, Awaken E to dodge the Polymorph. Although, I think... Oh yeah, he gets away. But, I mean, I have Ruined King. And what do you have? You have a freaking... Rod of Ages. You're basically you basically bought an item that makes me deal more damage to you. And then uh I think we get this. Yeah, I was really scared that he's gonna miss it. He had smite. That's the, oh no, he didn't have smite. What? Wait, wait, wait. So I don't know, whatever. We got it, that's the point. Um I'm not fighting. Uh uh, I'm, ac I'm accumulating more gold. Uh, another fucking really dumb fight from Volibear. He doesn't understand... I mean, he doesn't understand the difference between Rod of Ages and Blade of the Ruined King. So... Yeah, he, he's clearly not on my level. He, he saw this build, you know, it's OP, Rod of Ages, um... Flicker blade and then just fucking stun locking, uh, constant healing, blah blah blah, huge shield, huge attack speed. Like, okay, I have Ruined King, I have Q Awaken. If you're isolated, you're dead. Your HP is deleted. So he just, and then of course, Volibear is like, he blows everything in one go, and then for, for, for a long time, he doesn't have anything. And I have sp I have uh, stances that I can switch back and forth, all, like, infinitely. So, I don't need, like, I, I, I'm better at, I'm, I'm better when it comes to DPS. 
So, boom, Maltation. And that is just Ruined King. So, uh, Muramana didn't even come online yet. Okay, we farm more. Uh, we are actually pretty even in CS. Uh, but he, he does have... Uh, wait, how, how was the... How did I switch the... Uh... Ooh, man, I forgot again. Okay, how do I switch? Interface, hotkeys, interface, toggle, uh, visibility menu, toggle scoreboard items. I, I'm, I'm, okay, that has to be it. Yeah. So, I have 2k more, okay, 1.5k more gold than Volibear because of the kills. Um... Pretty much, but where did where did it all go? What's going on? The timeline is gone. Oh, there we go. It's you. Okay. I have no idea what happened, but remember. It's before 20 minutes, so there is no Baron, there is no Dragon, there is no Grubs, there is no Herald. So there is no point fighting for anything right now. So I am not looking to fight, even though I'm strong, even though I have items. I am not looking to fight. Oh, and by the way, it was a 37 minute game. This is currently 17 minutes, I died 3 times. So for the, in the next 20 minutes, I only die 2 times. 1 death per 10 minutes. And I'm telling you, if you want to climb, that's the, f like, like, everyone says, like, hey, if you want to climb, uh, 10 CS per minute, minimum, 10 CS per minute. Like, oh, no, fuck no. Like, you look at challenger games, it's, it's, it's not the CS, it's not 10 CS per minute. It's not that. Because the average CS per minute is like, like, like 7 in gold, or whatever. Like, I, just, I saw a video on it, how the 10 CS per minute is so misleading. But still, everyone talks about CS per minute. But it's not CS per minute, it's just staying alive. It's more like XP per minute. Just stay alive. Like, avoid dying as hard as you can. Um... So I go split. And I see a tower that is up because my team is trash and I have to do everything. So I just come here, I bang on this thing. Uh, and, 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 and funny enough, I see this on top, so I TP. I'm currently TPing and Caitlyn was too late. Like I started TPing in front of her. You know what, I actually wanna, wanna know that maybe Maybe there was no vision on me at first. No, there was vision on me the whole time. What the fuck? There was vision on me the whole time and Caitlyn just didn't react fast enough. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, if you just pay attention more to the game, like, if you want to climb, I understand if you just if you just play this game as a game. But if you want to climb, and I assume if you're in Diamond, you take this game seriously and you want to climb. So if you want to do that, you have to dedicate your focus to this game, and that and and and, this, and that is what it's like. What it's called to be a professional. It's not just a hobby. You dedicate your focus into it. So he's here again. Okay, I'm just clearing the wave. At this point, Volibear actually uh, actually took back a little. Uh, he stepped back a little. You know, he wasn't really fighting at this point. Um, he, we were just going back and forth from pushing top. Um, uh, and now Muramana is online. I don't really remember what's going to happen here, but Dragon is... Uh, why can't I see the Dragon timer? Where is it? Anyways, look at Volibear. Look at this dumbass. 
<laughs> like, okay, so in case you didn't notice. Those were, those, like this damage was only my regular Q. That was the Q active. And now I use Awaken. He, he's dead. He is absolutely dead. And he had the shutdown, which is pretty funny. But whatever. They are doing some mayhem. Uh, they actually did good. And then look at what's gonna happen here. Or is it gonna happen now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Overextension. Stop, you violated the law. You violated the law as well. Slow OP. That, that's the stun. One attack, two attack, W, follow up, boom. And then this bitch is in here without ultimate. Of course she gets the kill, but you pay for it. Boom. My auto attack came, came up fast enough. And then, like, what are you doing? You just died. You wanna go back again? Boom. Slap a dab. 11 and 3. Um, so I just got, like, 6 kills back to back. Um, 10k gold. Uh, 2800 gold lead over Volibear. Um, second most gold. Really good. Caitlyn is, 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 is really strong. So I can't fuck it with Caitlyn. Like, Caitlyn, I have to respect her. And I did respect her, and that's why we won. Um, I, again, I was really stressed here. I, I don't know what this Wukong is doing. Okay, that's a, that's a <clears throat> that's a Kiana. That's my mid laner. Pushing a little, and then recalling, spending all the gold, and we pick up a Phage and a Sheen. So Triforce is halfway done. Um, not really a power spike yet. Clearing waves, accumulating gold, more gold, not fighting, no point in fighting, no point in posing off, uh, more gold, Seraphine dies mid, more gold, just going from gold to gold to gold. Uh, I, I want to see what they're doing. Evelyn dies bot, so I say, okay, so this is this was a crucial moment here. So, the fact that Evelyn dies would not, would naturally mean that I can keep pushing. But because my team isn't really uh, spread out, like there is nobody pressuring bot, nobody pressuring mid, I shouldn't. But Evelyn died bot lane. And me and Wukong were here. Uh, Seraphine just TP'd onto this ward. So, we pinged Baron. I mean, I have damage, so why not? But we couldn't finish it in time, and uh, it ended out. It, it turned out to be uh, a bad call. Uh, Volibear just used ultimate. I'm not sure if um, they end up taking it. No, they do start it. They are starting it. And a beautiful stun from Bard. And it results in... Triple kill. And I could have kept going. I could have kept going, but I didn't want to get fucking slapped in the face by Evelyn. Uh, so I decided to heal up. In case she, maybe she comes on me. But she went on Kiana and ended up dying so that's really good and and now we do baron properly again i was really scared he's gonna miss it and I'm like, I don't care. I am not gonna fight this. Caitlyn is alive. I am not fighting. I am not losing this Baron. Bard got out, so... 
That's 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 good enough. I mean, uh, a Vulcan got out. Um, and here Triforce is finished, and I go for a Kinnik Rukern because of the AP and poke damage that Zerath has. I mean, he has a fully stacked, uh, what do you call it, Magi's. So the Keenik is definitely good here. Like, that's just massive, massive a uh, magic resist. That's what I need right now. I mean, there are so many good MR options for Udyr, because I could go Spirit Visage to amp up my healing from Ruined King and Conqueror, and also amp up my shields. I mean, my only shield. Uh, and also Force of Nature for, you know, tanking and, 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 and increasing magic magic resist and running down enemies. Uh, but I decided with the Keenik because I, I, I figured that, like, three of these guys, I mean, okay, so Zerath is really immobile. I'm never gonna have to chase him. I just run on him with double E and he cannot get away. So, Zerath is immobile. I don't need to run him down. Evelyn jumps on me. I don't need to run away or after her. She jumps on me. Volibear jumps on me as well. Um, so, I don't need to run away or catch up to anyone because these guys are going to be in my face. So, what I need is just massive magic resist. And that's like Keenik. Um, and, and, and I don't know why, but they just let me take this tower. Volibear and Evelyn are on bot lane. Farming a wave. Zareth is mid lane, defending this tower. Okay, and I just get this for free. But it's not over yet. Volibear and Evelyn are still on bot lane. <laughs> I don't know where Caitlyn is, but... <laughs> but I get this as well. And I die. And who cares? I just got two towers. And even though they killed me, that's just like... You killed a man, not the idea. You can kill me, but you can't un undestroy your towers. Um, and the Keenik is finished. And I picked up a, a, a Winter Buckler, or what is it called? A Glacial Buckler. Um, against Caitlyn. Although it's not gonna be like armor... Is not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna do anything. You're gonna see what I mean. So, wait, I think, oh no, Dragon is not coming up. But, I, again, there is a wave here. There is no tower here. If there was a tower here, I don't know where they are. I clear this wave. Like, I don't care where they are. I clear this wave and I rush the tower. Even if they are here, I have enough time to clear this wave and kill this tower. Uh, and I knew that they would probably be here. Because we had vision here. Um, nobody was showing here or mid lane. And Lulu was here. So I know that there have to be somewhere here. Um, but because this tower is not here. So pushing this wave is pretty useless. Unless I can get all the way up here. So I wait. I wait... And voila. Um, okay, Lulu gets caught. And then... Okay, I'm watching in slow motion again. And then boom. Three of them show it. They show themselves. Obviously, Evelyn is not showing herself. She's never gonna show herself. Um, and then I say Caitly moving down. And the wave died. So no vision of me going up here. It's a it's really a gamble if 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 there is if, if there are wards here or not. But like patience and information is key. And just look at this. ADC mains, what do you think about that? How do you feel about that? That was the first auto attack. The first auto attack was almost 1k damage. It was like 900 and uh, 
like 800 and 80, 90 something. I practically, like, that was a three tap. I three tapped her. Now, obviously, yeah, Udir is strong, but a Caitlyn should never be melee ranged to an Udir. So, even if that's broken damage, she made a huge mistake. Um, so, I mean, just let me know what you think about that. Is that balanced? Is that fair? Is that whatever? I say it's fair because if, they, is, if this was any other scenario, like if I was to run at Caitlyn in an open lane where she sees me, I get to retapped before catching up to her. So I think it's pretty fair. She stepped on my turp, so I get to fuck her. And then Lulu is on the menu next. Um, although not really because, boom, there is a flash. Uh, Kiana catches up. And... No need to, no need to, like, like, there is, like, what I love about, like, silver players, silver, gold, platinum, and apparently even diamond and emerald players is that they are, they think they are in Vietnam doing the seek and destroy. Like, whenever an entry frag happens, like, we catch someone, like I just did, uh, I killed Caitlyn, and then, uh, we caught uh, Lulu. They suddenly switch into like fucking siege, search, seek and destroy, and 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 they just start running after anyone who is left, like no witnesses. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't need to do that. Like you don't need to do that. Like I love fighting, but but look, look, this is how you win. Okay, they all know. They all know now. They all know now. Um. So yeah, that's one tower, and I decided to rotate over here. Um, I actually don't get this, I think. Volibear thinks that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. But no, you cannot. I got some pings on me, like, what the fuck is that damage? Um, Wukong finishing my work. He was a great guy. And then look at Caitlyn, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, uh, what you just saw before of me destroying Caitlyn, 3-tapping Caitlyn, and you might think, wow, that's so unfair. Okay, but then this happened. So, what do you think about this? Like, see, it's not that bad. ADCs are not that defenseless. You just have to be more aware, and you just shouldn't face check uh, bushes in your own jungle, I guess. Um... But she has four, three and a half items. Um, I have four. Four and a half. She still gets me. She gets me hard. Um, respawning. Boom. God was born. And then six more minutes and I, I, I'm not gonna die anymore. Uh, I just TP'd on a ward, yeah, uh, that was confusing because no, uh, no TP animation. I just, so, because it seemed like, like, it seemed like we're gonna lose this dragon anyways. Because they had pretty good vision control, you know, we saw them all over the place, you know. Um, they got the entry frag. Uh... So, I'm like, there is no point contesting that, that dragon. So, I'm gonna TP on this ward and go for the, the inhib. Okay, good enough. Unfortunately, I can't do anything else. But now, I just remembered. Okay, so, think... I'm gonna think like the enemy team. So, they are doing dragon and they see me in their base taking an inhibitor. Panic button comes on. Panicking. Like, oh shit, we need to recall, we need to recall. No, 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 no. We can't let Udir back door. No, we need to recall. So they are panicking right now. Finish Drake as fast as we can and then just recall everyone. And and I bet you they are all recalling. Um, okay, one recall, two recalls. 
goes through wall. She gets caught. She stays to fight. He walks home for some reason. I don't know. He just gave up. Like, poor bear. Um, she helps. And this is great. It doesn't matter that they die. And this would be, like, another feeding. And they already died six times. Six times. Um, okay. Look at, look at Kiana. 13, by the way. So. This is not a problem. Like, that's great. Great. Seraphim, please go in as well. You should go in. You should be next. Because they are dumb enough to take this fight. And then Zerath, now Zerath probably realized, oh shit, wait, I just recalled for nothing. Even though Udir was in our base and, and, and Udir is well known for backdooring, he, he, he can't do anything. I mean, th there was no waves and I just recalled and the first wave that I can take is over here. No super minions or anything, like, no threat. Um, and look at where we are. Yeah, Wukong knows. Wukong knows. He also has the Keenik Rukern. Um, yeah, so I just called Baron. And... By the time any of them react, it was already on... On half HP. And I don't know why Wukong is always waiting for like 900 to smite. Like you can smite at 12, 1200. So why wait for 900? There could easily be an ability that, that, that deals 900 damage into the Baron. Anyways. So we just got Baron. So I decided to spread that. Spread the, 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 the goodness around. Um, we catch Volibear. Uh, and then... We get a really good entry into their base. Uh, Botlane was chased uh, from here, so they couldn't really recall. Uh, Zerath was sitting in the base, because I guess he was very cautious. Uh, he was a good player in the enemy team. Zerath was definitely good. Caitlyn wasn't bad either. Um, but we just played this well. Okay, can't really do anything. And here, Kiana said something like, 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 3 versus 5, why not end? Well, yeah, it's true, but look at who we killed. We killed the two melee champions with practically no wave clear when it comes to bar Baron minions. Um, or at least, like, no anti-siege. And the three, the three champions that are alive are Zerath, Caitlyn, and Lulu. So the... The, 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 the uh, AP carry, the AD carry, like an artillery mage, an artillery AD carry, and a support that can protect them like crazy. We can't end here. So, I decide to just stay here, hover, and, 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 and keep the Baron buff on the minions. Actually, I decide to do this. I'm, 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 I'm uh, farming more. Like, I am not fucking around with Caitlyn, nor Evelyn. Actually, Evelyn is nothing. Like, I can I can basically evaporate Evelyn. Uh, boom, boom. And then the guys are already rotating mid. So, it, like, it seems like a, a, a grouping attempt. Um, but we have really good control over bot lane. And instead of grouping mid, they should be, like, around bot lane. Like, that, like, look at this vision. Like, ward, 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 ward. We have complete vision over their bot lane. And they are not that bad after all, because look at how everyone is moving around bot lane. Really good. I like that. That's, like, actually professional, actually pro level. Um, And because bot lane is the only lane that we still need to destroy, and we have Baron, it makes sense that they would have... And that Bard would... Uh, Put some vision over over uh, bot lane and look at Bard's vision score, a hundred and fifty four, insane. Uh, yeah, this guy again overextended. He made a lot of mistakes that are like, like I don't know how to say that. Volibear wasn't bad either. He understood the game. He understands the game, but I think it's like it's the same effect that I have. Is that I understand the game, but. My ego is just too strong. 
Like, even if nobody is looking at me, I'm not gonna be a pussy. Even if I'm... Even if I'm in the fog of war, I'm not gonna be a pussy who's gonna go and recall here so that he's gonna be safe. Like, he's, he's like, okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are here, I know they are here, but I'm not a pussy. I'm gonna recall here. I mean, it's in the fog of war. No. No, you can't do that in late game where, you know, we have move speed, we have, we have, uh... <laughs> awareness we can jump you, you just can't do that you need to be more cautious and i know he understands it i know he understands his mistake but and he probably considered recalling in a safer spot but it's just like it's sort of like ego or i don't know what it is but yeah so i can see why he does that because i'm kind of like the same type of player and there is no surprise, because it all comes from Trick2G. And we are both playing Trick2G's biggest champions. So, that explains everything. So, thanks Trick. Thanks Obama. Thank you Dark Souls. Um, so, the big bear is, is, is down. They hit the second bear. Uh, actually, no. The bear is not fallen. Uh, but, okay, couldn't get this, but now their, their, their attention, their attention is completely pulled apart, because mid lane is open, they have no waves spawning, and this wave is coming down, like, we killed this wave in advance, like, the wave that would, like, the wave that would match this wave is already killed, and they know that, so they know that there is a wave enrolling here, and this is open, this is open, and Wukong is going for it, they have vision on it, but also we are here, so it's so hard to handle these types of things, especially when, okay, actually, no, no, we didn't kill Volibear, but they just burnt ultimates, like, look, Volibear burnt ultimate, Evelyn burnt it, like, no ultimates at all, none of them have ultimates, and I can't tell if that's active right now, or if that's a timer, but I think Kiana and uh, Seraphine still have ultimate, so we have a huge advantage here. And then, and then look how they just leave. And I need just one minion and a few seconds to destroy this tower, although it didn't die. So I'm really sad about it. Bard could have just walked here and auto-attacked it. Like, it, it survived on 8 HP. Um, whoop the fucking do and actually... Wukong died, so we played it really badly, and instead of getting a tower and an inhibitor, we got none. And dragon is spawning. So, we are all alive, and it's time to go for, uh, for dragon. What's gonna happen now? A very nasty fight, Um, okay, 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 caught, everyone just caught, and huge amazing fight, and he, here, yeah, we just killed the carry, and the jungler, we could have went for the end, but I, I mean, as I said, I mean, it's only two of them, but still I was like, <sighs> inhibitors are respawn, uh, we don't really have... Actually, there is a small wave here, but this is like one ability for Zerath. This is also one ability for Zerath, and Zerath is alive. Although, he could be caught. But this is why I was like, okay, we have two options. We just got three kills. So, we either chase them and waste all of our time. Um, or, so if we either chase them down or uh, ignore them and run at the base but if you run at the base they have an opportunity to recall and if Zerath recalls we can end we cannot end he can defend alone um, but if we chase them and prevent them from recalling we are gonna waste too much time and we might end up like falling between the seats where we couldn't end 
but we wasted too much time and we couldn't do dragon and it was soul so i was like okay i'm gonna be sure i start dragon if volibear gets on me i'm gonna get on him so i'm not gonna let him get away so volibear is dead and guess what guess what gg so as i said basically in the last um in the last 20 minutes of the game it was one death per 10 minutes so that's a pretty good ratio and and i'm telling you and it was a pretty even game like this wasn't those types of games the one that i just played by the way because i had to play normals because i got chat restricted so i had to play um i had to win three normal games before going back to ranked and look at this pretty similar 20k gold 19k 18 4 2 17 5 6 259 farm 280 um this is a normal game so these guys are probably uh plat 4 in flax wow silver 4 yeah i mean i feel bad i actually feel bad no joke uh nasus had it the worst look at this nasus mid lane 1 11 5 um yeah gold 4 yeah as i said like i'm not proud of it so this is why i'm not analyzing games like this where i just absolutely uh i was absolutely let loose on a bunch of uh low low elo guys um and there is nothing wrong with being low elo uh wow what the fuck kaiser what kaiser was like doing the best and she was the lowest rank. Kaiser was absolutely carrying. She only died two times in a 30 minute game. And look at that gold count. Look at the gap between the teams. So basically, like I'm not analyzing a game like this. But this game wasn't like that. This wasn't just a bunch of low elos being absolutely mowed. Even though I made it look that way. Um, but look at it, like, the kills are pretty even. And the majority of our kills are, 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 are in the hands of two players. Um. And now that I look at it, Bard had the most. He had 25 kill participations, I had 23. Um, she has 20. 14 on Wukong, and then 11 on Seraphine. And can you imagine playing Seraphine and having the lowest KP. It's just sad. It's just sad. But, anyways, um, the reason why I analyzed this game is because this was pretty even. This was pretty hard. This was not an easy game. And I would say the way to win this game is, like, overall, it's, like, map control, like, 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 predicting like enemies decisions uh like with that baron call where we just gave up dragon for a baron uh while i did a distraction move by going for the inhibitor um that was probably like the play of the game tping for the inhibitor making them recall thinking that it's a huge threat and then it just ends up being nothing but losing an inhibitor and instead of them rotating over to baron which they should have actually done because I think they killed a couple of us. And I think it was only me and Wukong alive. I'm not sure. But they should have just immediately rotated over to uh, uh, Baron. But they got so distracted by me taking that inhibitor that they just immediately like, Oh shit, we got a recall. Oh wait, there are, there are a couple of guys here. Okay, then let's kill them. Oh, okay, we killed them. Okay, so where are we at? What are we gonna do now? Oh yeah, recall. And now by the time they recalled, we already got Baron. Um, yeah, the build, just don't copy this build. The thing is that... Um, the thing here is that this build is 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 it's 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 gambling it's glass cannon like the first two items that i did 
Blade of the Ruined King, Muramana, your paper, you're made of paper, glass. You get caught, you die. So this is glass cannon. It pays off really well if you're playing against someone like Volibear who is a fighter but plays like shit and makes bad, makes bad decisions because you're gonna get a lot of kills on him. And if you avoid everyone else and just fight that one guy who always, th who always tests their limits, you can cash out. And then, okay, Triforce comes in, you're gonna get some HP, but still very squishy. And that's my first three items. So I was insanely squishy. So they could have just repeatedly hunted me down, um, denying gold from me, but they didn't. And normally, as I said, normally, if I was losing, if I was, uh, if I was, like... Yeah, not doing that bad, not doing that great after those first two deaths. Uh, because Volibear killed me, like, for first blood. And then he got another kill on me at level 6, where we both died. Um, it could have went downhill from there, and I'm stuck with a tear and a pickaxe. And the pickaxe pretty much only builds into Blade of the Ruined King. But Blade of the Ruined King is only useful against Volibear because of his high HP. I mean, it's not bad. Like, it's 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 generally good. But it's a situational item, mostly. I mean, it should be, in my opinion. It's it's mostly like a core item. <laughs> but, <clears throat> so if it wasn't for those, uh, those kills that I got from, like, Evelyn and then the skirmishes... Uh, I would have went for something like like Triforce, maybe Sterax, uh, and then maybe even uh, Fimble Winter instead of Muramana, if 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 I was actually being hunted actively. Uh, so I don't recommend doing this 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 route, this item build, like like Blade Muramana Triforce, because you're gonna suffer. Like, you're gonna be a glass cannon and you cannot make a single wrong step or you're gonna be punished and, uh, and, 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 and just punished, pretty much. So, I would recommend, like, Triforce is pretty much the best choice for a first item. Um, but the most popular item is Stride Breaker, which is really dumb, I don't like that item. Uh, but it's like it's like the recommended item, so every single like 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 hobby Udir player builds that shit. And I mean it's not bad. So if I was actually doing worse, I would have probably picked up a tier mat to have better wave clear. Um and then you know, stride, triforce, you are already pretty tanky. Um and then maybe either Maw of Maw Morseus or, or uh, Force of Nature so that I amp up my move speed and actually go into the move speed department with uh, Stride and, uh, and Force of Nature. And then Dead Man's Plate. So, yeah, those are the options. When it comes to runes, um, it's just the regular. Conqueror, because I know I'm gonna be fighting. Um, presence of mind, I mean, look at that. 4,000 mana restored. Legend Haste, Last Stand. It's just the recommended. Like, this is basically one of the recommended runes. Um, and then Demolish and Second Wind. Demolish is a must-have for me, for my playstyle. And then, okay... They actually had a pretty strong early lead. I didn't feel it because I was constantly leading. So, yeah, so about the build. The reason why I, got, why I went into this glass cannon build is actually because whenever I see someone like Zerath or Lulu or Caitlyn, in my mind, I imagine this scenario where they overextend and I have Ghost and Awaken, and I run at them, and I awaken my E so that I can catch up and ignore their uh, their 
like distance keeping abilities like the Zerat stun or Lulu polymorph or the Lulu slow or the Caitlyn slow or a Caitlyn trap so I have this in my uh, scenario in my mind that I just run at them with ghost and I, I use my pa passive on the E but if I use my passive on the E I lose a lot of damage because I'm not gonna have the awakened Q with the insane HP chunk and the attack speed so I make up for it by building insanely high damage items like Muramana, Blade of the Ruined King and Triforce <clears throat> and you could also put in the, uh, the the Ravenous Hydra so that would be like the God Deer build like maximum damage and I actually wish that uh, Trinity Force still gave mana so that it could also contribute to Muramana damage but so that's basically like my my, my the, the scenario that plays in my head and I'm like oh yeah 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 so the only way to catch up to them is to use Awakened E but if I use Awakened E I, 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 I trade damage for, for, for mobility so I need to make up for it with items and even if I get one shot I can take an AD care with me so that's actually good so that's pretty much it guys um let me know what you think and yeah follow and subscribe and like if you like the video thank you